It's on now. I turned it off by accident. Right, everything I've just said a minute ago, from about just there, didn't come out because it, the video for some reason turned itself off. But I was just saying, it's a lovely day and I'm out and about. I'm not going to repeat exactly what I said, but I'm over at Dalbury Warren and I'm climbing up the hill for it. It's my granddaughter, one of my granddaughter's birthdays today. She's 18, but she's gone off to abroad somewhere on a plane to celebrate her 18th birthday with my daughter, with one of my daughters, her mother. Now, just before I came up the stretch, I bumped into a couple that once they'd gone, I realised I'd seen them on YouTube and they also do a lot of YouTube stuff. And they do a lot of walking. Now, they're on a big hike today. Um, they're probably about my age, but they, they're both very, very super fit. Aren't they? Yeah. They're both very super fit. Anyway, as I always say, Doing a hill is good for your rib cage, good for your lungs, even though you don't like doing it. Anyway, there we go. So there's nothing to stop me going out today because there isn't a, and there wasn't any party as far as I know, and. Um, that's that. We've now got, I've got to try and plan this, you know. I might have to do four shortish walks, but on the hills over the next four days. I'll tell you why. Because we've got four days of nice weather. And when you've had a long grey winter and you get all this summer stuff at once, you don't feel like you should stay in. But it's at my age, it's keeping that energy going. And not only that, I'm dependent on public transport. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm dependent on public transport. Now, the only thing I didn't do, which I normally do, is I didn't bring the umbrella. Now, it says on the weather map you don't need an umbrella, but it also says there could be up to 15% rain in the next hour. But it might, it's not going to be heavy, apparently. But you don't need a lot to get wet, do you? Anyway, we'll take that as we go. I usually try and fit the whole hill fort in a couple times a year. And I do it from both ways. So I'll come up. Well, today I'm coming up this way from the west side to face east. And this is the entrance at this end to the hill fort, Dolbury Warren. A lot of people sometimes call it Roborough Hill Fort, but it's actually in Dolbury. Now, I'm going to walk around the edge but you can walk straight up the middle. But I've, I prefer to do the gentle walk along what would be the whole, the old ramparts. Um, this would be the, what would this be? I can't remember all the names, but um, this would be where a lot of the settlement would be. And uh, Right, the wild garlic can really be smelt from here. I'm on the ramparts of the Dolbury Hill Fort. That's Robero over there. Well, this is all Dolbury here. Robero's over that way. The people I met will be down in that valley heading up that way in a minute. I wonder if they missed the hill fort. I was looking up at it a week or so ago and um, from down there I was looking up but I'm not going down the secret steps well, I call them the secret steps because in a way they are because not many people know about them 
but it's still in my mind it's still too slippery to go down very very steep steps now amongst the little clutter there there's a church Rowberry Church which I've never ever managed to get in but I do know that some of Barbara's ancestors Barbara who passed a cousin from Canada are from Shipham and Rowberry they were miners here and uh, got very very strong garlic is it yeah do you want to go down there, Sheila, so you can see? And we've got lots of views from up here, look, with the big oak trees in the Bailey area. That's the top of the hill fort up there. I have described it many times before. But if you want to go, just go down there and have a look in the valley. We might even see those people. But the way they look, they're one of these sort of people that are very fast. They're old, but they're fast. They got like, um, high metabolic rates or something, I don't know, they, 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 they're they sort of people that, that are got an abundance of energy and they never seem to look tired or anything and they, this lot are really on the move because they intend to walk all the way through then all the way to Velvet Bottom as well then they hope to find a pub they'll have to go to Pretty to find that right, oh look, cow pack Cows do come up here, by the way. It's true, but I don't. I usually always stay on the top. But I thought, no, do this bottom one for a change. And the track, the Dalbury Warren track that I quite often take and take pictures up here, is down there. That's the track I came along a week or so ago. And there's somebody just parked a car back there. These people would have made. Because they look very, very super energised. Um, even though they're more than likely in their 60s. They, um, they've probably gone. They, they look like, I don't know, supercharged. Amazing. And a bloke does these YouTube things and he puts them on YouTube. A bit like I do. But he's got, I think he's actually got... Um, not a drone, I don't exactly, but he's got something so he can do different views from above as well. There's the church there. The church is actually attached to a big Roboro Manor house. Um, so you can't sort of walk around it or anything, but you can go in the churchyard. Um, I keep meaning when I, I don't go there now really, but to have asked to go inside you know there must have been a warden somewhere about I can see the wild garlic down there that's what the smells coming from a lot of wild garlic down there anyway so that just shows this fresh cow pack here I was gonna wave to them if I saw them I was gonna wave to them Right, I'm just right. turning off. There's the church there of Robero. Can't remember its name now. Um, I was I had a little walk on the lower path to see if I could see those people, but they would have gone. They, like I said, they were supercharged with energy. This is the Bailey area of the hill fort, but it probably wasn't called a Bailey back in the Iron Age time. But this is the area where the the camp would have been. And there, there would have been big high fences along here, a palisade of, on the ramparts, wooden beams. There's evidence of cow, very, very recent cow. Which I could bump into at any minute. There's Robero. There's, like I say, there's a lovely picture of the church there. Um... I'd love to get inside, I really would. I really would like to find out when it was open or if, who do I ask for the key so I could go in and have a look because it's connected to my cousin Barbara of Canada and her family. Um, Barbara passed, she's a lovely lady, 
beautiful person to have met. I didn't meet her physically. We met across the ocean. And uh, we shared DNA. We shared Jane Fletcher and Thomas Fletcher. Jane Yardley, we shared them. And um, well, this was the this is the main mission today to do the hill fort, but it's not the best of days. There's not much blue sky, unfortunately. But I will be doing it again on another occasion, coming from the opposite direction. Now, it was a risk for me to do today because it wasn't going to be the perfect day, not like tomorrow and Friday. They're going to be much brighter days. But I was so eager to get out. I hadn't been out since... On, well, I went out on um, one day to uh, <coughs> Sand Bay. That was a really good walk. That could have been Saturday I did that. Yeah, it was Saturday. And then in the week I had been somewhere else, over on the hill somewhere. By having some gaps though, I managed to get the the video prepared for YouTube and add photos and stuff. Yeah. I've got my bag is very heavy as it always is at the start of my walks very heavy indeed it's full of water juice more camera equipment um, clothing you know like hats scarves coat waterproofs and first aid kit do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not a lot, but it is when you add it all together. It weighs on much more. Of course, I've got two bottles of water. I always start bringing out a lot more... Oh, someone's got the Bushnell. Leave that there. I always start about now carrying not the full complement because when I carry the full complement of water on a day out it will be three bottles of water and two juices and normally always two oranges now right back there on the hill there's something white and that's the encampment that's what I did there uh, that's what I did not long ago I walked from Sanford over and up and down there and I did Happy Valley for the bluebells. But somewhere over there, there's a white, a white tent of some sort. That's, a, that's an encampment over at the uh, top of San, Sanford Hill there. I passed that last week when I did the Sanford to Cheddar Walk. And I did the wibbly wobbly path. That's right, it's coming back to me now. And I've managed to get all that done and put on YouTube and saved as a web link to Family Tree. I'm trying, because sometimes some of these things never ever get done. I've got loads of stuff that never gets done. But I'm starting to add a bit more of my lo very, very local walks. Like the wood walks. Um... But of course, sometimes I add things years later. Years later. I think I've still got stuff now I want to put back on. I want to freshen it up and put it on. Various little cycle rides I did that I used to video. Um, visits to Somerset churches that I did. But of course, the only problem back then was the cameras. Um, it was either... It was mainly... Uh, <laughs> A mobile camera, which was quite a good little mobile, and it was um, very, very inferior video cameras called Vivitar, one of the most basic ones you can get. Um, but it was still a record in time, and it's all I could have at the time. 
that was like in the beginning say 2009 before that I used instamatic cameras and a handset cassette recorder that, they were all right they were actually quite good the instamatic cameras took good photos but when I went over to these inferior video camera recorders they what happened when they went on YouTube? They went quite often blurry and shaky and the pixels weren't right. Now, not far from here is the secret steps, which I'm not doing today. I'm looking forward to walking down the other side of the hill for it instead of up it. And then making my way into Roebarrow and then back to Winscombe. That's the plan today to head back to Winston. But I won't be getting the 10 to 5, 10 to 4 bus because apparently the school kids are still off and it'll be packed with children full of colds and flu. I got on the bus with them once before and it was jam-packed with teenagers. Uh, anyway, I'm not doing that. So I'll get the sort of 20 bus, 4 bus from Winscombe. I would go further, but because I've just, I've got to pace myself, that's what's happening. Over the other side of that cutout bit there are the steps that go down and back into the wood. And right over there, you've got the air of outstanding natural beauty which I touched upon last week, briefly, when heading for Tynion's Farm and the Wibbly Wobbly Road. So there we are. I've walked all the way up this side. Quite often when I come up the other way, I'll do the other side back round. I vary it. I have looked forward to the hill fort. And you can do it. All you've got to do is take your time. Now this would be too slow, I would be far too slow for a young person and they would be bored stiff. There's a lot of people I see, they move fast. I mean I couldn't have, I wouldn't have wanted to keep up with that couple I met because all they're doing is literally ploughing their way through, discovering different routes. Whereas I like to reflect, look round, like I'm doing now. Overnight.